And now for the morning rush. One man is dead this morning after being shot and killed at Coronado Park. Police say uh, they found 33 year old Andrew Aguilar at Coronado Park near 4th and I 40 yesterday morning. Nearby businesses and neighborhoods have complained for years about the violence and drug use there. The mayor says it's going to take several measures to address the problem. As firefighters gain more and more control of the Hermes Peak Half Canyon fire, a new fear is setting in. Monsoon rains are just around the corner. Now people living downslope from the massive burn scar are worried about flash flooding. Residents and volunteers are now getting ready to slow and redirect the runoff away from the burn scar. As for the progress of the state's largest wildfire, the Hermit's Peak Cap Canyon fire has grown another 5,000 acres since yesterday. That brings it to more than 325,000 acres in size. Containment still steady at 70%. Meanwhile, people living in Silver City and surrounding areas saw major smoke as the black fire rages on. Crews have almost fully contained the east, west, and north flanks of that fire. The south end, though, of the fire near Hermosa is still not contained, and that brings it to now nearly 314,000 acres in size. The fire's overall containment percentage remains at 44%. As for the midnight fire in Rio Riva County, it continues to grow as well. This one's burned more than 4,800 acres so far. The good news here, there have been no new evacuations. The lightning sparked blaze is still 0% contained. Erica. And here's a look at our hourly forecast. This morning, temperatures are in the low to mid 60s, so it is a slightly cooler start than yesterday. We'll warm into the mid 70s by 9 a.m. with lots of sunshine. The general election is only five months away, and the fight for the governor's seat is heating up. KRQE political analyst Gabe Sanchez says both the governor and Republican candidate Mark Ronchetti will be spending a lot of money on campaign ads leading into the general election in November. If you want to hear the full interview with Gabe Sanchez, you can head to our website to check out the KRQE or the News of New Mexico podcast. Secretary of State's office is calling on the Supreme Court to order Otero counties to certify their election results. Otero County commissioners voted not to certify last Tuesday's primary results right away, instead ordering a hand count of the ballots. Secretary of State's office says the county does not have the legal authority to change state election protocols. In a major bipartisan step forward, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says he will support a framework for gun reform, pledging to bring the bill to the Senate floor as soon as possible. His vote seems to indicate enough GOP support to overcome any filibuster in the Senate. Senate negotiators say that they could finish writing the bipartisan firearms legislation as of this week. Erica. And here's a look at the threat index. It's low today. We will see very hot temperatures to the south and east, some low 100s there, and just elevated fire danger. At least two of the five teens accused in the murder of an Albuquerque at an Albuquerque gas station, rather, are staying behind bars until trial. Yesterday, 16-year-old Ty Gallegos and 15-year-old Esteban Lucero were in court for the deadly shooting in March at the Maverick gas station that left Kayla Montano dead. Two other defendants in the case have hearings scheduled for Friday. The fifth is still in juvenile jail. A man wanted for murder in Albuquerque has been arrested in Tempe, Arizona. 22-year-old Taven White is accused of shooting and killing Charles Carter. This was at the Four Hills Studios near Central and Tramway last month. Police say the apartment where it's, it happened is known as a hub for drug dealing. So far, White has been charged with murder and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. There is finally a crackdown on speeders on Albuquerque streets with more cameras going live. The city added cameras on lead and coal, both near Cornell in the university area. This brings the city's to total number of cameras to six. The city plans to have 10 by the end of the summer. Swiss tech company Sky is now developing a high altitude platform station that they hope will provide another option when it comes to boosting internet connectivity. Sky also partnered with the EPA and New Mexico regulators to study air pollution and changes in the climate so over the coming years, which could include detecting wildfire threats. Erica. All right, let's get a check on traffic. This morning, the maps are looking clear. No slowdowns to report. And here's a look over the big eye. Things are moving along still. A man put Oklahoma City in the national spotlight by free climbing the tallest building in Oklahoma. Yesterday, 23-year-old Mason DeChamp climbed the Devon Tower to raise awareness and protest abortions throughout the country. Once he got to the top of the building, he was arrested but was later released. At number five, a tech company launched one of its airships over southern New Mexico with the goal of one day boosting broadband access, monitoring pollution, and reduce the threat of wildfires. Swiss tech company Sky is developing a high altitude platform station that they hope will provide another option when it comes to boosting internet connectivity. They also plan on monitoring air pollution and climate change, which could include detecting wildfire threats. And number four, as firefighters gain more and more control of the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon fire, a new fear is setting in. Those are monsoon rains that are just around the corner. People downslope from the massive burn scar. They are worried about flash flooding. 
Residents and volunteers, they are getting sandbags ready and carving features into the hillsides to slow and then redirect the runoff away from the burn scar. And at number three, we are going to be dry, sunny, and hot today. We'll see temperatures back in the upper 80s and 90s across far northern New Mexico, 90s and 100s across southern New Mexico. And number two, there appears to be progress on gun law reform. Senate negotiators say that they could finish writing the bipartisan firearms legislation this week in a major bipartisan step forward. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says he will support a framework for gun reform pledging to bring the bill to the Senate floor as soon as possible. The breakthrough legislation would require enhanced background checks for gun buyers under 21, secure new funding for to support mental health and school security programs. This would also crack down on criminals who illegally purchase and traffic firearms. And finally, number one for you this hour, one man is dead this morning after being shot and killed at Coronado Park. Police found 33-year-old Andrew Aguilar at Coronado Park near 4th and I-40 yesterday morning. Nearby businesses and neighborhoods have complained for years about the violence and the drug use there. Plus, it is illegal to camp in parks. Mayor Tim Keller says the federal courts block cities from arresting people because they're homeless. The mayor says it's going to take several measures to address this problem, including having sanctioned homeless camps throughout the city. Keller believes if Coronado Park was closed, a homeless would be pushed into neighborhoods instead.